Until a few decades ago, the city on the Liffey had a reputation as a working class place where life was hard and food was a no frills affair. Dublin is also famous for Guinness, a dark beer or stout. The Oliver St. John Gogarty pub is located in the Temple Bar area in the center of town, a neighborhood full of bars and restaurants. As well as being a popular beverage, Guinness is also a major ingredient in the kitchen here, in Chef John Howard's beef stew. It's not a cheap dish to do, you know. You use the good cuts of meat, and you use good vegetables, and, uh, and Guinness. Guinness would be the cheapest part of it. Well, it's not that cheap. The essential ingredient in the beef and Guinness casserole is, of course, the beef. John Howard uses a lean piece from the shoulder. He'll be adding baby carrots and other fresh winter vegetables. The chef uses as much local produce as possible in his stews. All these mushrooms are grown in Ireland. These are grown at the, the root of a tree. And great flavor, great meaty mushroom. Alongside the cubed meat, bacon will go into the stew pot with the mushrooms, the carrots, silver skin onions, and Guinness. The meat cubes are seasoned with salt and pepper and dusted with flour. Then they're browned in a mixture of butter and oil. It's important that, number one, that it's, it's, it's floured and seasoned, and also that your pan is, ve is very hot. It's very important, otherwise you're just steaming the meat. And also it browns very quickly and keeps inside the juices. Now it's time for the vegetables. Diced shallots are sautéed lightly and fried together with pearl onions and mushrooms. Then the vegetables and some beef stock are added to the meat in the pot. Finally, John Howard fries the bacon and sets it all simmering on a low flame. Now, next is our Guinness. Deglaze, deglaze the pan. That way we pick up all the juice, all the juices from the meats, from the from the vegetables, and that's where we got all this wonderful flavor. The reduced beer is the final ingredient. Now the stew will cook for around one and a half hours. I think food in the British Isles generally had quite a poor reputation. But that's that's all changed now. People have travelled, chefs have travelled, and uh, you know t things are much better. Uh, I'm actually surprised at how quickly and how well they're doing things. Like this typical Irish dish, the beef and Guinness casserole. John Howard serves the beef stew with mashed potatoes. It goes perfectly with an Irish beer or a glass of red wine. 